Hi lovelies! Welcome back to my channel, Shamir Style. In today's video, I'm doing a try on haul. So, let's get into the looks I love. First up is the pink ruffle dress from Chicwish. I really love the length on this and the color. The other thing is my boobs don't fit well, but a good solution is body tape, which you can find from so many places. Kim Kardashian has a line of this, and of course there's fabric tape. Not exactly confident it would hold up if dancing, but it's okay. This is the dilemma with strapless dresses. It may fit in other spots but be loose if you have small boobs. Next up is the tulle skirt. This skirt is everything to me. I would shout it from the top of the Empire State Building. I love it, I love it, I love it. It is not only very pretty but it's so versatile as you're gonna see coming up. This is the anthropology jacket I unboxed recently. This coat is rose gold or copper and it looks just amazing against the pink skirt. I honestly think this is my favorite look in the video. I just love that it looks easy, chic, feminine and fun. Also, it's so versatile. So even though this video is about holiday outfits, I could definitely run from a meeting, to work, to a date, to an all-girls brunch in this one outfit, without seeming out of place. It is the epitome of multitasking, which I am addicted to. Then, I brought it down to very casual and paired it with the sneakers. Right now, I wanted to talk about how dressing has moved out of context-driven to identity-driven, where I have seen women who identify so much with this thought process that they show up to work in an outfit they should be wearing to a party, just to prove that, okay, I am an individual and who I identify as counts above all. So yeah, not too sure about that mindset, ladies. But I decided to try a new blouse with the skirt. Anyway, to clarify, I am not judging the outfit. I am judging the choice and the selfishness of showing up in something that you know in your heart is inappropriate and deciding to ignore that feeling to satisfy your need to be individualistic. Then, I think it drives this idea that a conservative look or a less conservative look is set in stone. So you're either always in a mini skirt kind of girl or always in a long skirt kind of girl. When it used to be and still remains for many women, a matter of place and time. That way seems more realistic to me and more common sense driven. So you're not going to show up for a date night with your husband in something that makes you look like an old lady and in the same breath you're not going to show up to work in something that makes you look like you're looking for a man and not your goals. So yeah, let's just take a minute and meditate on that. Now, do I 100% love this bow top? Mm, not sure. I think the look as a whole with this skirt is so feminine and soft and I really like it. This is a pretty conservative look if you have an occasion that demands that. So my holiday color theme, you know of pink and white, started when I was around 13. I'll insert a picture for you guys. While I didn't do it every year, it was often because I didn't find a style I liked and not that I didn't want to. So, that first Christmas Eve, I was going to Grand Market with my aunt and I wanted to look my best. It's a happy memory because my mom was afraid to send me out 
but my grandmother <laughs> colluded with me so I could have a night of fun. She gave me some money and I enjoyed myself fully. I seem to remember holidays and the things that happened more vividly when I wear pink. Our final look is the anthropology dress, which is ideal for a charity gala or any similar event which doesn't demand too much walking around. During the holidays, people host many events like these, especially large corporate companies. And I think in general, anthropology is a really good store to check out for an outfit when you have an event like this to go to. Now, the dress runs a little long and I am 5 feet 6 inches and in heels. The other thing is that the material is so delicate it does snag easily. You can style it in different ways and pull it down for an over the shoulder look. I would wear it over the shoulder like this. Lovelies, that's what I have for you today. Here's a quick peek of the man behind the camera. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video.